Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another requested video and that is the lasagna recipe. I was gonna post another video today but then I was getting so many requests for this one so I thought why not go ahead and share the recipe with you guys. This recipe it is very easy to make. It is crowd pleaser so you can make this for the potluck or the party or just simply whenever you feel like having some cozy comfort food you can make this. It is very easy to make so let's go ahead and start. So first of all we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven on 375 Fahrenheit that is the 190 degrees Celsius. On the other side, I started preparing the pasta. Now I'm using the lasagna here. And I'm gonna go ahead and boil them in the water. I just add a little bit oil in there so they don't stick together. Once they were about 80% done, I rinse them in the cold water and I completely dry them. And now they are basically cold. On the other side, now we're gonna prepare the spinach Stuffing. For that I took about a tablespoon oil. Into that we're gonna add three cloves of garlic. Also half large onion. So first of all now we're gonna go ahead and cook this for about two to three minutes. I'm gonna add salt to taste, also red uh, chili flakes and this is up to you if you don't want the chili flakes you don't have to add it but of course it tastes really good. Also I'm adding the black pepper. It just looked like I'm adding a lot but believe me guys it's not much <laughs> I'm gonna mix all that stuff and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach into this now I'm using the baby spinach those and these are already being washed and everything so I don't need to do anything so here I'm using about 10 ounce fresh spinach and I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of them in there and after a few minutes this is what it's gonna look like and now our spinach filling is all done now we'll go ahead and prepare the ricotta cheese filling for that I'm taking about two cup ricotta cheese Also, I'm using the half a cup Parmesan cheese and we need actually one cup of Parmesan cheese uh, but first of all in this mixture we're gonna use half a cup. Also, I'm adding the one egg in here just for some binding but if you don't want to add the egg that's fine you don't have to add it. I'm also going to add salt and pepper to this mixture, mix everything very well and then our cheese mixture is ready to go. And now it's time to assemble everything. So we also need the mozzarella cheese for this and uh, this is what I'm using. It is shredded mozzarella. You can always use the fresh one and grate it by yourself. That's fine too. So now at this point the spinach mixture is also cooled down completely and I'm using here this tomato basil marinara sauce. You can use any flavor that you like but this is really good so I'm using this one. So first of all we're gonna spread that into the dish so our pasta doesn't get stick to the bottom.
And now we'll go ahead and assemble the pasta itself. So first of all, I'm gonna take one sheet. Also, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese mixture, then the spinach mixture on top of that. And then add a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top and roll it tightly. I really love to do this way when I'm making the lasagna because you can make it like a traditional way. You can put all the sheets, then put all the mixture on the top. But then when you are ready to cut them, sometimes they don't cut it in a nice pieces. So this way, you will see it at the end when I take it out from the plate. It's really easy to do it. It looks really nice also. So this is my favorite way to do this whenever I make the lasagna. Also, you want to be, be careful whenever you put the noodle back into the plate, you want to make sure the seam side is down so then when it's cooked, it doesn't get open. So as you can see, it is very easy to make. It doesn't take much time to make it also. So you can actually make it and freeze it in your freezer and then whenever you are ready to bake, you can just take it out and um, bake it in the oven. But um, I love this lasagna so much because you know here most of the restaurant has like a meat in it also the sauce that they use or the filling somewhere there is a meat so we had really hard time finding the good lasagna so I always make it at home and it comes out perfect all the time I'm also gonna spread more sauce on top of this so that way all the edges doesn't get uh, brown and um, it just get more flavorful And now we'll just go ahead and add the Parmesan cheese as well as the mozzarella cheese on top of this. I'm also gonna Sprinkle a little bit of red chili flakes on top. Now that is the optional. If you want it, you can. If not, that's fine. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now every oven is different, so you do want to keep the eye on them. And then I'm going to go outside and get some fresh basil. We're going to garnish our lasagna with this as well as it's going to enhance all the flavor. And my son wants to eat the cheese ball so I was making the cheese ball and actually here he's mixing all the ingredients because he loves to do that and I have shared this recipe before so I'm gonna link it up here as well as in the description box so I was making the cheese ball and I was gonna serve that with the lasagna but then by the time lasagna was done my cheese ball was already gone so I actually I end up serving the lasagna with the garlic bread After 20 minutes, our lasagna is all done. As you can see, it came out so perfect and I wish you guys can smell this and try it because it was yummy. Friends, I cannot recommend this recipe enough to you guys. You have to try it and I'm sure your friends and family will love it. As you can see, it doesn't take any effort to make the piece. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to who recommend this. And I'm so sorry it took me long to post this video, but finally I did it. <laughs> so thank you again, guys, and take care. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.